Hey family, don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, join me on my mission to gain 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I appreciate that. Also, if you want to make a video topic request, or if you just want to let me know you rock with me, send a donation to the Cash App or one of these other places, you feel me? Much appreciated. And follow me on social media too, especially Instagram. What's up, y'all? Happy Monday, man. It's your boy, Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skinny Ambassador, uh, with another parenting uh uh advice i'm gonna say video um this was a cash app donation request by a frequent subscriber and watcher of my channel who goes by the name of v um bro i'm gonna call you v because i don't want to say your name wrong out of respect for you but i'm gonna just say v now v wanted me to react and give my opinion on this little video about this 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 little boy basically turning it up in the store, um, throwing a temper tantrum, a big temp temper tantrum, a doozy. Um, I already showed it at the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna have it playing again at the bottom. Uh, my opinion is this, and I'm gonna get straight to the point. I've, this is this clearly shows a lack of masculinity within this child's home. Um, my son, see, I've had my son, I've had my oldest son. I've never, um, I've never been a custodial parent of my younger son, but my older son, I've had him, I had him for a year before I had to. Uh, Give him back to his mother, you know, due to the courts and all the legalities of the situation. But um, even before that, when he wasn't living with me, but I was still in New York and I was still dealing with his mother, and he was basically living with me anyway. Um, I've personally never seen my son do that. He's never done that to me, and uh, he's never done that to. My mom, my stepfather, um, his mother has never told me that he's done that. He's had his stubborn uh, phases. Also, my younger son, King, they both had their stubborn phases, you know, because they, they got an asshole part of them that they get from their father, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they've never just like thrown a full-blown temper tantrum and laid on the floor. Laid on the floor and just refused to move. Um, that shows a lack of masculinity within that house. That shows that that child, especially that little boy, because first of all, I can't remember a time where I seen a little girl do that. 
The only time I've ever seen that done is a little boy doing it to women. Because um, fathers, we already know, if you're watching this video, we don't have that extra time. All that. First of all, fathers, you already know, when kids, when kids start screaming and crying and stuff like that, it gets annoying quickly. You know what I'm saying? And um, we, we, what you see in this video is, in a way, the women in the video are trying to cater to this kid, right? To make him calm down. You see, that's what the women do. That's what femininity does. You see, masculinity. Fathers, we don't have time for all of that. Because one, it would be embarrassing. And two, you're on the floor. This is not getting nothing accomplished. You know what I'm saying? Um, when my oldest son was with me, the number one thing I used to tell him when he get the wine and stuff like that, I used to really ask him and have him think logically. I used to be like, son, I want you to tell me what is crying going to get you? Because I already told you no. I'm not your mother. I'm not your grandparents. I already told you no. So crying is just going to aggravate me. You're going to aggravate me. I'm going to spank you and you're going to be on punishment for the rest of the day. Now, usually my son would uh, be trying to throw a temper tantrum or giving me a hard time because just like the kid in the video, it's something that they want that, that they don't get access to, right? A child that throws a temper tantrum like that on the floor, they throw in that temper tantrum because it has worked before to get them what they want. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it, you know what I'm saying? So this is why my son never did that with me. Um, neither of my boys never did that with me because they know, um, dad already said no. If he took something away from you and this is why you're upset, he already gave you one or two warnings before he took it away. Crying is just going to get you spanked and then you're still not going to get what you want and you're going to be on punishment for at least the rest of the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, these kids, you know, <laughs> they hate having their little gadgets taken away. They hate having the Lego set taken away. Um... The video game, they hate having the TV turned off, even though I would say this, especially now, fathers, parents, we really got to regulate how much TV our kids are watching. You see, I feel like there's one benefit slash advantage that I have to not having my kids live with me, even though if I had it my way, they both would be living with me. And hey, in a perfect world, they both be living with me. And both they moms, we'd all be together and we, you know what I'm saying? We'd be like a big blended family, even though that's not realistic. But we really got to pay attention to what our kids are watching because, you know, they have the whole, um, the whole, um, Skittles agenda. You know what I'm talking about? Um, they also have, you know what I'm saying? Our, our boys watching like all this like soft Stuff and this is what contributes to them being extra emotional and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, um, getting back to the video, lack of masculinity. Um, I have never seen a house where there's an active masculine male in the house where there's children that do this. Like I said, this child does that because in the past, that child has thrown a tantrum wherever and they've gotten what they wanted. Fathers, we don't have the time for that. A father, you see, as you can see in the video, the women are trying to drag the kid and hold the child up by his arm and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got this obese woman who doesn't have the skill. This is either, this is probably like the aunt or the grandmother. She has, she does not have the skill or the strength or the intensity to make this child immediately do what they have to do. You know what I'm saying? Like a father in this predicament, if he's not going to already, you know what I'm saying, get annoyed. And first of all, he's going, I would assume that what I would do, just like any other father, first of all, you're embarrassing me in the store, right? So you already about to get it. But I could see me or any other father easily picking up my son, right? Throw him over my shoulder, walking out the store. Five, ten seconds tops, already out the store. This video is about two minutes long, and it's basically just the child on the floor being an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's enabled. That's that's encouraged because that child is used to getting what he wants by being ridiculous. By being ridiculous. This is because there's no man there 
or at least a logical thinking woman who can sit the child down, right, and say, listen, you're acting like this, you're not going to get nothing. You say, like, me personally, me personally, if, like, I remember this one time, my son had done something I told him not to do. This is when we first got this apartment, right, when he was still here. He did something. He did something, right? Something that he wasn't supposed to do. And I gave him a warning. I said, yo, if you do this again, you're going to be in trouble, right? So he did it again. Now, what I did was I took him in his room. I didn't even spank him or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I'm not always rushing to physically discipline my child, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, but I took him in the room. I explained to him, like, yo, so you 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 don't respect my shit. That's basically what I be saying to him. I'm like, so you don't respect my shit. I told you not to do this, but you did it anyway. All right. So cool. And then, you know, being that he knows the direction that it's going, he immediately starts either trying to lie or trying to plead for what he wants and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, no, no. So what he does is he starts screaming in his room, right? He starts screaming while I'm in the room talking to him while, he, while we in the room. I'm talking to him and shit. He's screaming. I'm like, well, bro, I already told you. Crying is not going to get you nothing. You did what you did. Now you got to suffer the consequences. Mind you, this is like this is like two in the afternoon. I'm like, hey, listen, no TV. His friends was calling him from outside. You know what I'm saying? Come outside, come outside. He really likes to go outside, right? I'm like, yo, you're not going outside. Sitting here and do nothing, stare at the wall, right? So he's being hysterical, right? I'm like, oh, you think I'm your mother? You think I'm your grandparents? See, in this type of situation, in this type of situation, I, I've seen my mother, I've seen my mother, you know what I'm saying, give him something sweet or something to put in his mouth, right? To shut him up. But my thing is this I'm not rewarding your bad behavior. You're my child. I'm your parent, I'm not your friend, I'm never going to be your friend. This is the problem that I see with a lot of parents, especially women for some reason. They try to be their son's friends, their kid's friends. I'm not here to be your friend, I'm here to be your disciplinarian. And that's verbally or physically if I deem necessary. I reward good behavior only. So while my son is acting hysterical, I said, so you really think I'm about to just stand here and listen to you be loud? Listen to you be loud? He's screaming stuff like that. He's screaming. All I did was I closed the door. I closed the door. I let him scream their self. I went in my room. Kept doing whatever I was doing. Ten minutes later, he done screamed himself to sleep like I knew he was going to do. So then he slept for a couple hours, and then he woke up, and then he came downstairs, and he apologized. And I asked him, I said, so you understand why you was punished, right? He said, yeah, because I did such and such and such. I said, so you know I don't like that. He said, yes. I said, so are you going to do it again? He said, no. I said, because if the next time you do this, I'm going to put you over my knee, and I'm going to spank you. Right? Right? The knee that the 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 child over the knee, a fair, a firm hand to a bare bottom, like until they get real, 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 real big and start going through puberty, I really feel like that's the most you really need for a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like I guess when they start going through puberty, you might, you know what I'm saying, you might wanna like 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 hit them in the chest or something, but not hard enough to like hurt them or break something, but just to show them like you'll never be stronger than me. I know, I know, I know hand don't hurt no more. You too big to go over the knee, but I will like, like beat you up. You don't never want me to do that, right? But um, once we did that and he acknowledged and we accessed the fact that he understood where he was wrong at, I let him go outside and have a good time. You know, um, I felt like the women in this, in this video, they just handled the situation wrong, but that's because there's no masculinity. You know what I'm saying? Like, that type of situation is not going to get better. You know what I'm saying? And, um, the wrong the wrong woman, because, you know, I've seen it. Um, mothers or female guardians, they'll, they'll be, they'll have to deal with a child um, um, trying to work them over and over again. And then one day their emotions just rise to the top and then they beat the child. 
Never, never beat the child. Never discipline the child out of anger. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was never a time where I was angry. I was angry and I then disciplined my child. You know what I'm saying? Always think it through. Um, you do not reward bad behavior. You know what I'm saying? I understand that that they was inside the store. So it wasn't a predicament where it's like I was in my house and if that same child was in the middle of the floor of the living room doing the same thing, I'd have left him there. I'd have said, oh, well, guess what? While you on that floor, there will be no TV, there will be no game. And when you want to get up and talk to me like a man and let me know what's on your mind, what's troubling you, you will not get nothing. You'll stay there on the floor for the rest of your life. Even though, you know, that's being dramatic, but you tell the child that they'll literally be thinking in their head, like, they just going to leave me on the floor forever. Eventually, they'll get over their emotions because that's strictly emotional. A child laying on the floor like that, and mind you, I really don't remember ever seeing a little girl do that. I've always seen little boys do that, and it's always been with women, like, even, like, Little cousins in my family watching them grow up. I've seen little kids do that, and it's always been to a sister or a mom. Fathers don't have time for that. Fathers have Adam's apples. We have, like, bass in our voice. Like, a lot of times, a simple, hey, get your ass up before we have a problem in here. You think I'm playing with you? A lot of times, that sheer voice alone will get them at least up off the ground. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, I want to thank V once again for, for sending the Cash App donation and making this request. Um, anyone else watching this video, you got any requests about anything, any type of video, parenting-wise, um, anything, you know what I'm saying? Um, drop that donation. Let me know what you need me to react to. Like I said, this could be about anything. Also, disclaimer. Like I said in the video, my children don't live with me. But that partly gives me an advantage to observe how other parents move. So once my kids are around me, I understand what I would do in the same situation. And you know what I'm saying? That little aspect of it helps me be a better logical thinking parent. But um, like, share, comment, subscribe. You see this hat? The brand is called La Corvie, man. Brand is called LaCorvi, man. If you want one of these, I'll put you on, man. These are the flyest hats of the summer. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.